Yo, welcome back guys. Today we are going to be doing some life hacks part two. I know you guys didn't smash that like button and get 20 likes, but I'm here with my friend. Hi it. Yo, and we're still gonna do another life hack. So this is part two. We're gonna do five. They're kind of life hacks, so like life hacks and weird things you guys don't really care about but still are weird. Link will be in the description. Yeah, his below. channel. Check it out down below. We're gonna be doing some kitchen life hacks and some other cool things that will just make your life easier and cheaper because of the like I don't yeah a few of them so if you guys uh, are ready for this video smash the like button let's shoot for 10 likes and we'll do part three three I can't use fingers so yeah we're gonna go in the kitchen and get things ready and we'll be right back all right guys we're back in Hyde's kitchen and what we got for our first life hack most of you probably know we got this Gatorade bottle you know with some of my dad's iPhone yeah dad's iPhone so we got this scary bottle with water and blue food coloring. So what we're gonna do right now is actually, if you turn on the light to the, uh, say iPhone. you're an iPhone or something, you stick it on here. Wait, Wait hold on. Let me give it. All right, and then you can see it lights light. up and does dope. See, so it's legit like a lantern. So like, say you're cheap, you're you're uh, running on it. You're cheap, scary. You're, you don't have money. And you want to do an affordable light, and you have an iPhone, so all you gotta do is all you gotta do is turn on your iPhone light and put in some water and blue food coloring, and that makes a perfect light for uh, any type of lamp, anything. So yeah, on to the next life, guys. This next one is not a life hack, but is still something that's weird and kind of cool. Two. Yeah, next to they're a little cool how they work. So what you need is an egg, just an egg. Biceps. Yeah, egg. <laughs> and some salt. Like what is this? Pure? Um, that's less fine grain salt. Yeah, so it's some different type of salt. Get some salt. What you want to do is take a handful, take a handful, put it, say like just put a little bit. Here, zoom, let's zoom in on. And take I I have an egg right here, standard. Here, egg. I'm gonna get a different angle, guys. It's white. And can you see it right there? All right, so yeah. Or if you stick it right on the salt, it'll stand Here. up by itself. Yo, yeah. and wait. Close up, guys. So he's blown it all away, and it's still standing up. I know it's flipping magic, guys. Like if we, as you can see. And all right, so yeah, that's that's one of the cooler things you can do. Not that it's ever needed, but it's just something cool because there's like no salt, but it's like levitation. So that's one of the cooler uh, weird things that you don't need to know. So yeah, on to uh, another weird thing you don't really care about, but still is cool. All right, guys. So this next one is a weird thing that's pretty cool. And honestly, I think it's probably one of the weirder things. I don't know how it's possible, but if you squeeze, if you put an egg in your hand and you squeeze it as hard as you can, it cannot crack. It's almost impossible. Uh, it's really cool, honestly, because, you know, it's pretty easy. You just crack it, like, on the edge of something. But if you squeeze it with your hand, you can't do it. So, Hyde's demonstrating. Okay, three, two, one. He's squeezing as hard as he can, all his strength, and he cannot. He cannot crack it. Because <sighs> even with us being buff, you know, because we work out. Just kidding, that's a joke. That's an entire... Right. I can't get it. And I, obviously, I'm not any stronger. I can't do it either. But then, all you have to do is just, you can crack it, like... <laughs> and it just cracks, and then it's see, it's so weird too. But if the thing people do wrong, if you curl up your fingers like this, yeah, and then crack it, it oh wait, it won't work. Yes, it will. Look, this never mind. It's strong. Yeah. Yep. And watch this. And then you obviously you just crack it on there, and it it cracks. Boom. Now, see, it's easy. I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense at all. But anyway, another weird thing you yep. doesn't really help you out, not a hack that'll make your life easier, but it's still pretty cool. So yeah, on- It might make your life harder. Yeah, so next one will be a life hack. And yeah, this we have two more and then we'll end the video, guys. Guys, this, this my friends, is probably the dopest one we made just like in less than two minutes. And it mm -hmm. honestly just stuff you have in your household. So it's a legit speaker for like iPhone, iPod, you know, you could make an iPod iPad, you just have to cut it. And the first, girl. listen, this. No, all right, hold on one second. We'll show you how it's made. So all we did was use two styrofoam cups on either side and a toilet, uh, no, uh, paper towel roll, and we taped them on, made a hole in the bottom of them, so it kind of like uh, makes the sound waves stronger. 
and then we cut a hole in the top for the uh, iPhone or iPad or anything else you want to put and you can stick it in there and it increases the sound so it's like a speaker super cheap speaker and then we added like a bass just to hold it up so we're gonna just demonstrate so we got this no copyright sound all right it's not focused this is a normal iPod touch 6th generation speaker. without speaker right. it's a no copyright as loud as it goes wait play all right you know so we got the song now watch this guys ready we stick it in here and it's so much louder it just like increases it almost two times just because it's like coming out and it's getting the sound waves are getting bigger so it's just a really dope life hack that legit is almost free i mean what these cost like maybe a buck in this toilet or mm -hmm. uh paper towels aren't that expensive and then some tape you know yep so that's all you have to do to make your free free-ish slash no speaker if you thought this one was cool just go subscribe to my channel <laughs> link will be in the description below yeah self-promoting all right last life hack guys we'll be right back all right guys, so this last life hack that we have that will help you indeed is these batteries. You know, you have these batteries, you don't have a clue whether they're good or bad or they're crap. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your battery, maybe hold it six inches above the, uh, like a flat surface. You wanna drop it and if it say, here, when you know it's good is if it only bounces like once and then lands. Here, let's get a different angle on this. About right here. All right, so if it just bounces once like that, that means it's a good battery, but if it bounces a whole bunch of times, that means it's crap. So watch, let's do a little demonstration. I'll let Hyatt do one second. All right, six inches maybe, drop it. All right, so we know this is a good battery because it immediately landed after one bounce. One more for me and then I'll show his. All right, we're gonna drop it. Uh, I think that might you be- You didn't even land it on the bottom. All right, so yeah, this is a good battery too because you can tell because it, Landed. I don't know what it mean, how it works, but it works. IKEA batteries. All right, so do show them. Okay, right, so he's three, got six, two, one. All right, I think that that's good. One. It almost landed. Next one. All right, they're all good. I think not. It might be. I think it's a good one. I'm just bad at dropping them. I think they're all good guys, so you can, that's a really cool life hack that will help you so you don't have to like buy those readers where you stick it on each side, which are pretty expensive, so you can just drop them from six inches and they will actually read, or they'll tell you whether or not they're good or bad. I don't know how it works, but it's pretty cool. All right, so yeah. If you guys did enjoy the video of these life hacks part two, smash that like button. It, like I said, if we get 20, uh, no, actually, did I, I think I said 10. If we get 10 likes, we'll do a part three, which honestly, these aren't that hard. So if you do want me to do a part three, I will do a part three. All you have to do is do a uh, like, the, like, like it. And also guys, I'm doing a giveaway currently on my channel what, for a $10 uh, Google Play gift card. If you want to be entered, all you have to do is subscribe to the video about my, uh, uh, subscribe to, yeah, subscribe to a video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm a little out of it. It's like one, two o'clock in the morning. But subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like on the video on the giveaway, and you are automatically entered. And one more thing, you have to comment. Shut up. Comment down below saying I subscribed, and I will automatically know you are in. You are automatically in, and just like uh, I will randomly pick it through a website, so I won't be picking whoever I think is the kindest. Uh, it's me. Kindest comment. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.